Hey there guys, I'm Sonic Ghost and welcome back to some more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Last time we made our way through the Ocean Spider House and we got ourselves a brand new wallet, the Giant's Wallet. Now we were able to carry up the 500 rupees, which is a lot. Perfect time for me to check this chest here in the water. Now we can get to it as Zora. Doing so gets us 20 rupees we can actually carry. That feels nice. Finally, we can carry money again. It's a miracle. Well, anything past 200 at least. So, I'm specifically starting out here because today we're gonna work our way over to the milk bar, but I wanted to start in front of the entry point, the Great Bay, because we got some stuff we can go ahead and do. For starters, we got some enemies over here that we can go ahead and inspect. This is a Bio Deku Baba. Just calm down and aim carefully. And don't blame me if one hit doesn't get rid of it. Oh, some sass there from Tattle. Well, you kind of neglected a thing to mention, which is kind of important. It's a little hard to demonstrate because these things are very, very aggressive, as you can see. So we'll make this a little bit easier. Use the Deku form and jump on top of the lily pad. If you try to jump on this lily pad with this Bayou Deku Baba on it, he's not happy. In fact, he will flip over the lily pad and try to kill you. So yeah, these things, very aggressive. Easiest way to deal with them, Use your boomerang cutters here as Zora. That will knock these guys off if you hit them correctly with it. So now they're at the bottom of the water here. And luckily for us, they won't be doing anything, for now at least. Gonna go ahead and use our flippers to hit this bee's nest, which reveals a piece of heart inside. So let's go ahead and grab it. But first things first, I kinda need to get rid of you guys. Get out of here, please. Thank you. There we go, got a piece of heart. That is a new heart container symbol a lot of heart pieces here before we enter our next dungeon. No complaints from me. That's always a good thing. Let's go ahead and get out of here and make our way over now to the milk bar in Clock Town. Alright, so we're in the milk bar now and I want to go ahead and first things first, buy me some Chateau Armani. Anytime I can buy this stuff, definitely want to do so. This stuff is amazing. So let's go ahead and take off this mask because you don't really need it at the moment. And let's go ahead and drink up. There we go. That's a lot of magic power. Now at this point, I'm going to equip all three of my transformation masks. And let's go ahead and start off by putting on Deku Mask here. And first things first, before we do anything else, I'm going to talk to this guy. He's very drunk. Drunk on milk, that is. Hey, you. Milk. It's milk. Can you get tipsy if you're something like milk? <laughs> Gorman, leader of the traveling troop, who's very drunk on milk right now, was added to a notebook. Don't know why he's drinking so much milk, but uh, let's just ignore that for now. Talk to this guy instead. We were scheduled to do a show, but it got canceled. This place has a reputation for being a great live venue. So that's a shame. I like to do a sound check though. I just want to see what it would have been like. Hey you! Can you help me with a performance? Yeah sure, why not? Okay, you play the pipes, right? Go stand under the front left spotlight. Me in here? Okay, now play your pipes like this. Okay, that feels good. What feels good? That wretched, senseless racket? Toto the band manager was added to our notebook. Toto here we could talk to as soon as we enter the milk bar, but we needed to wait until we had all three of the transformation masks that we have now to complete this quest, because as you've seen, there are four spotlights. Each form can help out with this performance. So because of this, we can do this entire thing now. We play the drums, right? Go stand under the rear left spotlight. Okay, play your drums like this. Oh, 
Okay, that feels good. What well, feels good? The Righteous Senseless Racket? Yes, it does. Keep on saying that. Now I gotta make more noise. You help me with performance? Yep, we can do it. Okay, you play guitar, right? Stand beneath the spotlight on the right. Okay, play your guitar like this. Okay, that feels good. What well, feels good? The wrenchless senseless racket. I'm gonna make more noise if you keep on complaining. Back now, I got one more instrument: the ocarina. So let's just play this thing as loud as we can. Play the ocarina, right? Go stand under the center spotlight. Okay, play your ocarina like this. Bravo! That was the best! Th that melody. That melody. It brings back so many memories. Is there old standby? Battle of the Windfish. Not to be confused with Battle of the Windfish from the Link's Awakening game. No, this is a different one, buddy. That's the song that members of the previous generation of the Indiegogos made famous. I enter show business because I heard this song at the carnival of time long ago. By doing performances, I thought maybe I'd get to meet the singers of that song. The one you heard singing must have been the original Lulu, mother of the current lean singer who's also named Lulu. So, her daughter is singing now. Is that so? I like to hear that. I'm sorry I booed you. Please, take my mask. We have now gotten the Circus Leader's Mask. Although if you're playing the 3DS version, this was renamed the Troops Leader's Mask. This mask looks so sad. It could put a tear in even a demon's eye. You saw the tears of Circus Leader Gorman. That was added to your notebook. Now, we can go ahead and put this mask on and just see. Yeah, it definitely is crying. Just like him. He's very emotional. He's uh, very shaky, but emotional. I remember when I was back at the ranch, my brothers. I wonder how they are. Oh, now you're gonna make me cry. I'm not crying. You're crying. I'm gonna just run away. Although, notice how I'm running faster for some reason. I don't know why, but whenever you complete the Battle of the Windfish song here, you just kind of move faster, or at least Link himself looks like he's moving faster. You're not actually running faster. But put on the bunny hood in the state. That looks like I just had a sugar pill. Look at me go. He just won't stop, man. He just super fast looking. I don't know why this happens. It's a weird visual glitch that happens in this section, but yeah. So we need to talk about this mask here. The circus leader's mask or troops leader's mask if you're playing 3DS version. This mask is actually very interesting because we can do a couple different things with this. So let's go ahead and leave and talk about all the things we can do with this mask. So here we are in the Gorman track, and we remember the Gorman brothers here, right? These guys are very mean looking. They only really care for themselves. They don't care about anyone else whatsoever. But they sing a different tune if you wear the circus leader's mask. Now if we take a look at the Gorman brothers, 
They're very sad looking, just like us. I mean, it makes sense. They're looking at their brother's face here and they're seeing tears, so it makes them tear up too. At least now it's good to know I'm not the only one feeling sad. Everyone here is a very sad person. Ah, that mask. That's our middle brother's big bro. So, he's gone to the world of entertainment. That younger brother of mine is really struggling. Compare what he does to what we do. No, no, no! All the things that we, the Gorman brothers, have done. Ugh, we're the notorious Gorman brothers. We can't get all sappy over stuff like this. I'm sorry, but take that mask off. I can't get anything done when you gaze at me with that mask on. I mean, you gotta feel bad for me, right? I am crying after all. It's no use. When you look at me with that thing on, I can't talk to you like that. So, yeah, that's pretty much what this mask does here in the N64 version, but in the 3DS version, the Circus Leader's Mask, also known as the Troop Leader's Mask, actually does something different here in the Gorman track. Before we swap over to the 3DS version, there is something I need to mention here. I kind of made a bit of a mistake, and because of that, in this footage you're going to be seeing, we're going to have an extra bottle here, and that's just for this video. It turns out that the file that I used here for the 3DS version to show off the Troop Leader Mask differences, turns out I did some extra stuff here that gets us an extra bottle that we're supposed to have later on in our playthrough. So, unfortunately we have an extra bottle here, it'll be going away after this video, it was kind of a mistake on my part, but it's something I needed to mention, that way we clear up any confusion. This will be fixed in future videos, but for now I unfortunately have a file here that I use for the Troop Leader things, that did some extra stuff, and because of this, we have one extra bottle. So, we'll be getting it shortly, but for now, just pretend that other bottle doesn't exist in my inventory. We don't use it, but it's something that needed to be mentioned. Anyways, back to the video. So, we're back over here in the stock pot in the 3DS version, and that's because before we head over to the Gorman track, there is one thing we want to go ahead and do first. So, here in the back room in the stock pot in, We'll see our Gorman troop leader here just kind of taking a nap here on this bed. Hmm. Big bro. I'll be coming home soon. Well, that's what he says if you're not wearing the Circus Leader's mask. But if we go ahead and put on our new mask, well, he says something a little bit different. What? Me? No. Can't be. So, it's gotta be you. Yeah, you come to wake me up again? Too bad, it's no use. Hopeless, even. Today, I just don't have it in me to get up and face the world. No way, no how, nothing doing. What could I do, boy? Carnivore's performance was canceled. Everyone in the troop is working so hard. This is our big break! To have it cancelled? It's like that. I just can't bear to tell them. Hey, Sonny. Bring me some sweet nectar, will you? You know the stuff. That special milk my bros make that instantly heals an upset stomach. If only I had some of that to drink. It would give me the courage to tell my troop. Ugh! Yeah, bring me that milk. But first, let me nap a bit more. For my health, you know. Bring it once it's past noon. Got it? Thanks, Sonny. Well, this is interesting. This is something that is not present in the 3DS version. The half asleep troop leader has asked for some special milk. This was added to your notebook. This is something that was added to the 3DS version of Majora's Mask. This is a brand new side quest that was not present in the original. So let's go ahead and head over to Milk Road and pay the Gorman Brothers a visit. So 
So here we are in the Gorman track, and I made it around noon, so that way we can easily do the side quest, because we were told we can't deliver the milk until it's at least noon. So now we talk to the Gorman brothers, we got a little bit of a different outcome here. You! That mask! That there belongs to her middle brother. Hey, big bro, take a look at this fella here! Wait, hold your horses. Does that mean something happened to middle bro? What? Special milk to help him feel better? Crimey, don't tell me. That Gutton drank too much milk again, didn't he? Middle bro loves him his milk, but he always chugs it till he's got a dilly of a bellyache. Say no more. What bro needs is some special Gorman track milk to fix that belly. Not just any milk will do. This herb will wake him, this root will shake him up. Ah, that's the ticket. And all that's left is... Big bro, you gotta mix it up real good. Middle bro's belly depends on it. <laughs> Calm down, you fool. Like I need you telling me how to do my work. Uh... All right, it's done. Whew. Here, take this to him as quick as you can. But you gotta hurry. This milk is special, but it spoils fast. Careful now. You received mystery milk. I really don't want to know what's in this milk. Naturally, what it contains is a mystery. Let's hurry and take it to the troop leader. Count on you, fella. Tell bro we said howdy. So we need to get this milk over to the Gorman leader as fast as we can. We get the special milk requested by the troop leader. That was added to our notebook. We only have about two minutes here, but we can't use any transformation masks. Hey, hold on a minute. You're not planning on rolling with that mystery milk, are you? If you roll while carrying that stuff, you'll spill it all over the place and make a big mess. Nobody wants that. I think you should walk instead, carefully. I mean, we could walk. Or we could use our horse, because we do have one of those, after all. I know, it's a miracle, right? Using a pona? I actually remember what that is. It's a horse that we have. That really doesn't get used much in this game, sadly. So we need to make it back over to Clocktown as fast as we can here for this milk. While we're on our way, there's something I actually want to talk about here about this version of the game. So, if you play the inverted Song of Time, what's supposed to happen is that you slow down time by one-third of its normal speed. That's how it worked in the N64 version. In the 3DS version, on the other hand, uh, it doesn't work in the way it's supposed to. So, instead of slowing down time by one-third, the inverted song of time here in the 3DS version slows things down by one-half speed. So, time of day moves faster in this version compared to the N64 version using the inverted song of time. This is a bit of a bug due to the frame rate translation between 20 frames on the N64 version and 30 frames here in the 3DS version. Sadly, this is not just an issue with the time, items disappear faster for the same bug, but it is something I've been wanting to mention for quite some time now, but we finally had a good chance here during the side quest because, hey, I'm not going to be doing anything else on the way back. So let's go ahead now and equip ourselves that milk, and let's put back on our mask and talk to the Gorman leader. What do you want? I'm not feeling so hot right now. So unless you have some business to discuss, scram! I want to be alone. Well, how about this? Do you want your milk, sir? Oh, oh, yes! In that bottle. That's for my big bro, isn't it? Ah, that indescribable taste. Nobody else makes milk like this. Hey, thanks for that. I mean it. You brought me back to life. Now, be a champ and toss this old bottle for me. Or don't. For all I care, you can keep it to store bugs and junk in. Whatever suits you. We got ourselves an empty bottle from this quest. This is a brand new bottle introduced here in the 3DS version. So, that right there is a brand new bottle for our collection.
The troop leader is now awake and alert. This was added to your notebook. Now then, I'm ready. I gotta go talk to my troop before dinner. So that was good. We were able to help our troop leader here be able to get enough courage and wake himself back up. But more importantly, we did get ourselves an empty bottle, which is fantastic. Now you did notice earlier, I did equip that bottle and we were able to hold it in our hand. But what happens if you try to use that bottle instead of giving it to the troop leader here? Well, simply put, if you try to use that mystery milk for yourself, Tattle's gonna give you a little bit of a warning. Hey, wait a minute. Please don't tell me you're seriously considered drinking that mystery milk. Don't be hasty. Remember, we have no idea what's really in that stuff. So don't do it. Got it? If you drink that milk, I'm ending our friendship. Wow, Tattle, that's harsh. You're gonna end friendship just based on me drinking some random junk milk? Wow. Guess with that harsh comment out of the way, there's only one more question we need to answer. What happens if the timer expires? What happens if we don't deliver this mystery milk before the timer hits zero? Yuck! Something seriously stinks. Must be that mystery milk you're carrying. Has it already gone bad? Gross! Hate to say it, but nobody in their right mind would accept that stuff anymore. Mystery milk has turned into moldy milk. Well, uh, I don't know if anyone wants to drink that. We failed the quest. Mystery milk has gone bad. That is added to your notebook for some strange reason. So yeah, if you fail to deliver the milk before the timer expires, it turns into moldy milk. Smells worse than a Goron armpit. Way, way worse. Perhaps if we try to drink this. That's it. I'm absolutely sick of us having to carry that milk around. Use that one song of yours to rewind time and make it as though we never had it to begin with. Please, I beg you. Tattle doesn't even want anything to do with the milk. She just wants it gone. Which, to be fair, I would too if it smells worse than a gore on armpit. That is saying a heck of a lot. Ugh. Stench! What in the world do you have there? Ugh, yuck! It stinks like it was left out in the barn for weeks! Are you milking a joke or something? Or joking a milk? Either way, I don't get it. I ain't jokes with milk is just unacceptable. Quick, now take that stuff away. Hang around much longer, and we'll never be able to get that stench out. Ugh, I could run us out of business. So yeah, if the milk expires, you can't get another milk in the same cycle. If you want to try again with the side quest, you need to play the Song of Time and do this again in a completely different cycle. So yeah, don't try drinking the milk because it's disgusting for one. And don't fail on delivering it because it gets even worse, if you can imagine. So yeah, that's pretty much it here for this troop leader quest. But this mask has one more use in the N64 version and 3DS versions of Majora's Mask. So we're back here in Romani Ranch about ready to help Kremia deliver some milk to Clocktown. But before I talk to her, I want to go ahead and equip ourselves the Circus Leader's Mask. So for the most part, this quest is the exact same as it was earlier on in the playthrough. But with the Circus Leader's Mask on, there is one major key difference here. So, for the most part, this quest here is the exact same as earlier on the playthrough. We need to help Kremia deliver this milk to Clocktown by fending off the Gorman brothers, who are trying to destroy all these milk bottles. If they destroy all of them, then you fail the quest. But, if you have the Circus Leader's Mask on, this is actually a little bit different, and in fact, it's much easier. You don't even have to do anything if you wear the Circus Leader's Mask in this side quest here. So... Wearing the Circus Leader's Mask, the Gorman Brothers won't attack you. This is because they see your face, and they know that face is their brother. So they don't want to hurt their brother, hence why they don't try to hurt you in the side quest. This makes it so you don't have to do anything whatsoever. It makes this entire side quest 100% free. You just sit here and do nothing, and the quest is over 
you win. There is a caveat to all this though. In order to get the circus leader's mask, you need to do the side quest for the first time to get yourself Romani's mask. And at that time, you won't have the circus leader's mask, so you can't get through this without doing anything. So in order to use the circus leader's mask here, you need to have done this already at least once to get the Romani's mask, so you can get the chance to unlock the side quest that leads to the circus leader's mask. So basically, to use the circus leader's mask here, you're doing this a second time and there's no reason to help Kremia here once again, because you're not going to get another Romani's mask out of this, so... While it's cool you can use the circus leader's mask here to make this side quest with Kremia 100% easy, there's no reason to, because you need to get this mask and come back here again, so it's just a waste of time in my opinion. Mr. Burton was happy to get his first delivery in quite a while. Thank you. You are pretty cool. This isn't very big, but accept my thanks. You did it! You helped Kremia. You feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Ah, you can get used to this. I'm sorry about giving you only this. You already have Armani's mask, don't you? It's proof of Milk Bar membership. Chateau Armani is a little expensive, but please try it at the bar. Well, I got at least a nice, satisfying hug from Kremia. A hug makes me want to cry. It's so touching. But it's honestly not really worth it. Unfortunately, to break the mood, I do have to mention that again, in order to use the Circus Leader's Mask in this quest, you need to have done this at least once already to unlock the Romani's Mask, so you can go in, use the Circus Leader's Mask, make that easy, and then you can get a hug. Helping Kremia out after you get the Romani's Mask will either give you a affection hug like we've just seen, or you can get a gold rupee. The decision's made at random in the game. It's a 50-50 if you get either money or a hug from Kremia for helping her out, but this is the reward you get now for helping Kremia deliver milk to Clocktown after you get Romani's Mask. Again, not very worth it, but it is something I wanted to go ahead and show off. But with that said, that's pretty much all the uses we have here for the Circus Leader's Mask. It's not really the most helpful mask here in the N64 version, but it does lead to another bottle in the 3DS version, so this mask is very useful there. In the N64 version, on the other hand, this mask you're only really collecting for 100% sake. That's it. But with that all said, we're going to go ahead and end things here. Next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we'll go ahead and head back over to Great Bay and continue making our preparations for our next dungeon in the game. I'll see you guys next time.